All right, I just wanted to add something. I was talking about Ezekiel 33 and how God talks about if we're righteous. So I'll just read it. In verse 12, The righteousness of a righteous man will not deliver him in the day of his transgression. And as for the wickedness of the wicked, he will not stumble because of it in the day when he turns from his wickedness. And then at the end of that little section in verse 20, God says, I will judge each of you according to his ways. So I talked about the importance of remaining in a posture of repentance and of our hearts being towards God. And as you know, we can't rely on our past righteousness to, um, to save us. And, and the importance of you know, declaring the kingdom of God, what does that look like? It looks like walking in God's ways. And also wanting to add that it is impossible for us to do it on our own. Like, yeah, it's just impossible. So don't bother even trying. The really, what I've learned over the years is it's way better to live authentically and not try to do behavior modification, not try to walk in righteousness, but just acknowledge, like recognize and be honest with ourselves when we are and when we're not. And when we find that we are not, when we see ugliness in us, to ask God to change our hearts, to acknowledge like, whoa, that was ugly. God, please forgive me. Will you change my heart? What lie am I believing that led me to do that ugly thing? And um, I need, yeah, I just need you to change my heart because only he can. And it's, it's about like this whole thing, life, <laughs> is about walking with him, about communing with God, abiding in him. It's not actually about following the laws. It's, it's about communing with God. And um, part of communing with God is following the laws and following his ways. Uh, but that is not to be the focus. And it's kind of like when you're in a relationship with somebody and when we do things that bring tension to the relationship, we it, the reason why it's important to live in certain ways is, is for the sake of the closeness. It, it's not about those ways in and of themselves. It, it's all about the closeness. And so even when there's tension there, the reason why it's good to bring it up is because it repairs and restores the closeness. And so life is about closeness with God. And when we are doing things that offend Him, well, one, it's good to ask for forgiveness and repentance to restore our closeness with Him. And two, it's good to walk in His ways because that is actually what leads to life. But my point is that there's no point in trying. And that just leads to whitewash tombs. Behavior modification leads to whitewashed tombs. So don't bother trying. Live authentically. Live as best we can in communion with God, connecting with Him, doing what pleases Him, but not trying necessarily, um, just living. And when we see ugliness, acknowledge it. God, forgive me for that ugliness. Like, wow, that was ugly. Lord, you got to change my heart as only you can do. And just us submitting that to him and desiring to walk in his ways, he gives us the grace to actually do it.